it between the lines in three, two, one, go. And we're off, 69 40, jumping off a of level two. Here's 1986 Team Titanium trying to secure this hatch mill, and that is properly affixed to the Red Alliance rocket. Nine thirty-five on the red line. It's rather robotics sealing up a hatch. Team Titanium of the Blue Alliance finishing off level one with hatch panels for the Blue Alliance rocket. Nineteen eighty-six there in the depot collecting some cargo. Going to try and place that one inside the Blue Alliance's rocket, dropping it in. Railer Robotics nine thirty-five on level two of the Red Alliance rocket, attaching that hatch panel. Team Titanium finishing off level one with all the game pieces of a Blue Alliance rocket here. Taking the opportunity to pick up some cargo and try and place it in the cargo ship, but unsuccessful. Railer Robotics trying to get this hatch panel attached and there they go, they've got it properly hooked on. 6940. Violet Z in control of some cargo. See what they're going to do with that. Team Titanium 1986. More cargo, more cargo. They've gotten all three of those on my side of the cargo ship. Violet Z, Blue Alliance, another piece of cargo. Filling that cargo ship up. Looks like we got 935. They've got some cargo in their claw there. See if they're going to place that in the second level of the Red Alliance's rocket. And they're opting to go for the cargo ship instead with that. 1986 Team Titanium lining up to climb aboard. Getting hit by their alliance partner, but still managing to climb aboard there. And there they go. 15 seconds left. Now we got two red robots. Parts on level one. Blue side, they got, looks like one or two on level one. In 1986, they're all the way up on level three. And now we've got this three seconds. Looks like we got a robot falling over right before the buzzer. It's the Blue Alliance, 55 to 30. Blue Alliance taking them three ranking points.